Hi there. Can starting small really work? People have this idea that walking 10,000 steps a day is necessary for their health. And when they don't reach that goal, they feel frustrated and like they've failed and they give up. What if this isn't necessary or even the most helpful way for most people to get the benefits of going for a walk? Can shorter walks do anything for us? Well, let's go for a short walk and talk about the research to find out. exercise is good for us. And ever since I told the kiddos about the benefits of walking, they've been begging for us to walk to school together and loving it. When I told them I was going to make this video, they really wanted me to give you some ideas on how to make walking easier or better or more fun or more convenient. So I spent hours looking through the research literature on an easy, inexpensive, fun way to increase your ability to walk and to actually overcome those barriers that we have to getting out there. At the end of this video, be ready for any kind of fun way to get yourself walking more than you are right now that the kiddos think is pretty cool. Now you often hear that 10,000 steps is where it's at and it can be a wonderful goal for some people. But do you even know how far 10,000 steps is? Well, depending on your body size and the length of your stride, for most people, it's around five miles. Is walking five miles a day really necessary so that you don't get dementia or you have a healthier heart or you simply don't die as early? Well, what the research suggests is the answer is mostly no and a little bit yes. A recent meta-analysis of 17 studies that covered over 220,000 people gave us some good news. The benefits of walking don't start at 10,000 steps. In fact, heart health benefits and death related to heart problems goes down with as little as 2,300 steps or a little over a mile a day. Your risk from dying from any disease goes down with under 4,000 steps or right around two miles. Another cool fact is that as you baby step forward and expand your ability to walk a little bit farther, the benefits keep increasing. For every thousand steps you add a day, your risk of dying from anything goes down by 15%. We know that the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommends that we get 150 minutes of exercise a week. So if you're going to go for a walk, how long do you have to walk or how many steps is that? Well, it breaks down to about 15,000 steps and that's roughly about seven and a half miles. Now you think to yourself, gosh, seven and a half miles, that's quite a ways to go. But if we're spreading it out over the week, it's a little over a mile a day. That's doable for a lot of people. So if you have a hard time motivating yourself to make big changes, let's just start small. Go for a walk of any length today. When you do that, you're going to start building on a sense of progress and going somewhere that actually impacts your health and wellness. Now here's the cool research tip that's gonna make your walking easier without you having to do a whole lot. What the research suggests is that if you start tracking your walking, you walk more without even doing anything different. This is true whether you're using one of those expensive or fancy fitness trackers, a smartphone that some people have, or even a basic pedometer. So I've done a bunch of research for you looking through the ratings of which pedometers are especially easy to use for older adults. And I've listed one in the description below. It's inexpensive, it's simple, and you don't even have to get any other equipment like some lanyard or fancy clip. So thanks for taking this mini walk with me today. And I can't wait for the next one where we can talk about other things that benefit our brain and our quality of life. Bye.